Hi, it's Kim and Murray with the Environmental Farm Plan, and we're here just to promote the new chapter, Species at Risk, which is being put into the Environmental Farm Plan to help Canadian agriculture source better international markets with the emphasis on sustainability. Well, this chapter uh, on Species at Risk is built the same way as the other chapters. It's a self-assessment, and if you find that some of your practices are at a higher risk level, then it will also provide you with ways to improve your risk rating. We all know that good pasture management leads to increased forage production, which leads to improved livestock production, but it also enhances the natural ecosystem by protecting sensitive areas, encouraging increased diversity of plant species, and safeguarding our soil and water. One way to accomplish this quite easily is with rotational grazing, where you can move your cattle around more frequently, forcing them maybe to graze areas that they are less desirable for them, and allowing uh, rest periods for, for certain plants. By maintaining a flexible system, allowing for different growth at different rates of different species and amount of moisture at various times of the year, you can allow rest periods for that grass to regrow and eliminate the, the overgrazing at the same time spreading nutrients throughout the whole pasture. And by keeping records of, of this, you can easily maintain and know when it, when it would be time to move these animals from pasture to pasture. And in the end, it's all about taking good care of the grass and, and the environment. Looking after the land. Remember, when you're working on your environmental farm plan, including that new Species at Risk chapter, Alberta EFP techs like Murray and myself are here to help you.